I like how the trees in the back appear to be like, uh, you could probably project a lot of different things onto those. They're just, I was gonna say that they looked a bit like a guy lounging, and I realized they don't. They don't look like anything. They look like, they look like shadows of trees and shit like that. They don't really look like anything. The deck chairs seem to be, I can't tell because they seem to be, because I'm, uh, I'm just hitting them before they can hit me, but, oh, I should duck. But I think the deck chairs, yes, the deck chairs are an enemy. I knew I was damaging them, but it didn't seem logical since they didn't seem to do anything. Oh, I do not like those meat, those super meat boys. Climb in a chain! Um, by the way, I'm still in the restaurant. Uh, it, in, it becomes increasingly implausible. Oops. Okay. Badly done. The setup for this restaurant becomes increasingly implausible. Like you enter in the in the uh, in the foyer, and then you go through shit, and you go into like the first area, and it just seems like you're inside a restaurant. And then now, like we're we're on the patio, but uh, where's that next section? Like what's what's going on? Why don't the chairs give me any damn money? Popper chairs, goddamn poor chairs. I blame the poor for being chairs. See, what's this part here? What, what what part of any restaurant is just the giant forks and stuff area? Something I don't get? Let me know in the comments if you think this looks like something. Or it's just a bunch of blocks. Because the game is pretty tight in terms of its visual language. It expresses itself pretty... pretty clearly without a lot of filler. Oh, fuck. Um, in terms of, like, it looks like it takes place in a restaurant. Not an actual restaurant, but it looks like a magical restaurant. Everything sort of has... A, um, a reference point in the real world, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, shish kebabs, they exist. If one hit you, stabbed you, it would hurt. Um, uh, tables, all right, they could be stacked up, theoretically. They could be, that seems awfully high to stack your tables, but I've seen tables stacked up in a restaurant. That makes sense. Um, it would make more sense to stack up the chairs, but, you know, in a big restaurant, I can see, st I've stacked up cha chair tables before as a, in a catering job. That makes some sense. All right, chandeliers that shoot lightning, that makes some sense. I gotta get past these fucking things. I guess I just gotta take the hit. Because I don't know how I was gonna get through that unscathed. Oh! Evil bad clouds! I guess I'm on the outside of the building? This part starts to stretch the metaphor a little bit. Because I'm really not sure... ...where the lightning clouds come into it. You know, the electrical appliances shooting lightning... ...again, makes some sense within the game. I guess they want you to travel on the outside of the building. There's probably a map that makes this sort of make sense. I'm just glad to be past that one part that was killing me. Oh, I'm into a new part that's killing me, apparently. New dangers from the same enemy. That's nice design, actually. When you have an enemy that doesn't seem like a big deal at the beginning of the game, and then you put it differently in a different part of the game, and it's suddenly, like, fucking hard, like that, like, like, like shit. Shit, that was hard. Um... But like, like, like the carrots, and oh my god. So much meat. I don't know if I'm gonna get past this level on this life. I was zooming through this game before. Everything, everything was, a, was everything was all in fun, tra -la -la -la. But then, oh, does this give you full life? Yes it does. I'm as happy as two clams in a bucket. I'm not sure what's in those teacups, but they, the people who wash them really need to do a better job. It's very disappointing. I give this two stars on Ze on Yelp. On Zelp. Zelp being the Zelda Yelp, I guess? I remember getting this item and then losing it pretty much right away. No, oh, that's alright. I guess I got that... Fuck! That guy definitely came out of left field. Okay. Now, I hope that this item lasts a little longer than the fork did. Oh, the enemies, they respawn. God damn it. Uh, but you can, can you strike on here? Yes, you can. Okay, I can see where that guy's coming from. So he's gonna slide, shoot down. He's not gonna shoot down. He's gonna shoot down. Shooting down. Did he shoot, there we go. And he respawns immediately. So he shoots from a place where you can't even fucking see him. And then he respawns. Shit. Like, that guy, he's not even on screen. What the fuck? He's not even on screen and he's shooting at me. God damn it. Hey, 
I got past that without getting hit again. That's pretty good. You guys should have given me a big round of applause. Let's just take time out to give me some claps. I did not expect to get through that. Okay, more egg catching. Very nice design on these stages. Um, doesn't really make complete sense within the context of the game again, but... You know, you know, I can see he's a hands-on chef. This guy gets his own eggs from wild birds out in the countryside. He's really like... Uh, like a fucking Gordon Ramsay of... I just throw an F word there. You can't say Gordon Ramsay without saying fucking in, within one sentence. Ah, oh, you fucking donkey! Beep! I guess you can bleep it out like they do on his shows. You know, by the way, if you don't like Gordon Ramsay because of his potty mouth, and who does want it like a man whose mouth literally uh, is a place where you poop into? I do. I hire him on the weekends just for something, for g shits and giggles. That was a pun. Uh, but if you don't like Gordon Ramsay because of his language, you should really watch him in England. Because he does swear in England, but uh, less so. <laughs> I don't. The best way to describe that is just less so. Um, he's got some nice chatty chat shows where he talks with, you know, other chefs and stuff like this. Some of which are not footballers like he is, but um, that's kind of beside the point. You, if you watch a lot of those American reality shows, you're probably not my audience anyway. And if you watch some of them just to laugh at them, uh, I guess. Uh, but why don't you spend your time more productively like playing old video games? That's the thing that bugs me, by the way. Is people complain about the productivity of video games and how people waste their lives staring in front of a screen or watching people play games. But fuck you, you can get a lot of insight from that. It's, it's actually quite interesting. And as somebody who likes to make and design games, I haven't successfully made that many, but I'm always working on something. It's great to see like the ideas of, of game design and where they come from in some, with some of these big big, high, highly developed titles where they've put a lot of thought into it. It's really neat.